Okay. Congratulations to me. This is my fourth day of doing Facebook Lives in a row. Woohoo! Um, I have not quit my streak and I get to check off my list every day, which feels like an accomplishment. As you know, I don't really like doing Facebook Lives, but it's important that I do them because people watch videos more than they read posts. So having a mix of reading and video is really helpful to promoting me and to promoting the work that I do. And what I do is really important. And it wasn't until last night that maybe I got a sense of just how important it was and why it was important. And I was sitting there, I was feeling a little down because we're struggling a bit financially. And I didn't know what to do to turn things around. And I've been praying all day for kind of an answer, a light, if you will, to come on. And somewhere around the end of the day, it clicked in me that the reason that I was struggling financially wasn't because I was a have or a have not. There are no haves and have nots in God world. Um, there are just people who know what they have and know how to package it and know what its value is. And there are people who don't know that information. Those are the only two kinds of people. It's, it's knows and knows not. Those are the only two kinds of people in the world. It's not have and have not. Everybody has something of value. It's just, do they know it? Do they know what it's worth? And do they know how to package it? Those are the three questions they have to say yes to before they can turn that interior wealth into something that's exterior to them. And that's kind of the message that I was given was, you're sitting on a gold mine. That's why you're struggling financially. It's not that you don't have what it takes to make it in this world. It's not that you don't have things of value, but you're not packaging it up and you're not putting it out there. And so I got really motivated to sit down and look at what I did. And I want to tell you where your gold mine lies. And it's not where you think it lies. It's not in the places you expect. Your gold mine actually lies in every failure you ever had. Every mistake you made, every moment that you're ashamed of, every moment in your life where you got hurt. That's where your real gold mine lies. Now, most of us, what we do with that gold mine is we don't know that it's a gold mine. All we see it as is failure, mistakes, um, things that we did to hurt other people, and we're ashamed of those. And so we take them and we package them and we shove them in this mental junk closet. We lock that door and we say, I don't want you to go in there. Don't ever go in there because I don't want you to see what I've done. I can't handle it. It hurt. And I don't want to deal with that. So we don't even look at it. We don't even look at those things because we think that they're bad. Now, toddlers don't think failure is bad. Toddlers aren't afraid to fail. They like fall down a million times and they have no problems getting back up. Yeah, every once in a while they get frustrated and they start crying and throwing a temper tantrum because they're frustrated. But then they get right back up afterward and they try again. And if they didn't, they would never learn to walk. But somewhere along the way between toddlerhood and starting school, we got the idea that failure was a bad thing. That if we failed, we made mistakes, that there was something wrong with us. And so we shy away from our failures and we pull back when we failed and we, we want to hold that back. We don't want that to be seen. We don't want that to be known. And, and we don't look at that as anything good. So instead of examining the failure and learning from it and passing those lessons on to other people, we take those failures and those mistakes and those moments we're ashamed of and we shove them into our mental junk closet and we lock the door. And we never look in there and we don't want anybody else to look in there either. Because we're afraid of what people will think of us when they see it. And it's that fear of being judged and being rejected and not being lovable because of what you've done that's messed it up. That actually keeps us from being really and truly loved and from prospering in this world. Your ability to be loved requires you to be seen for who you are, where you are, exactly as you are. If you can't be honest about that, the real you can never be loved because the real you can't be seen. 
And the real you is full of mistakes and failures and problems and setbacks and hurdles that you've had to overcome. But that's also what makes you so valuable. Because of those experiences, you are one of the most valuable people in this world. You can help people avoid doing those things. You can stop people from going down that same road that you did just by opening up and sharing what happened to you. You don't have to hide it. You don't have to be ashamed of it. You don't have to live your life in secret, hoping that nobody ever sees the real you. Because let me tell you something. The real you is awesome. The real you is incredible. The real you is so worth getting to know. But you're hiding him or her because you're afraid that if you open up and you let yourself be seen, people will judge you, people will reject you, people will not want you anymore. And the truth is that some people are that petty. Some people are going to reject you. Some people are going to judge you. Some people are going to not want you around because of your mistakes and your faults and your failures. But most people, most people are going to recognize themselves in what you've done and they're going to embrace you. So if you really want to tap into and find your gold, it starts by looking at your past and all that stuff that you've been hiding for years. And if you have the courage to start looking there and opening up, you're going to start finding that you have a lot of gold just waiting to benefit you. This is my Thursday thoughts, and I hope you enjoyed it. And I wish you all a very, very blessed day. Have a great weekend.